Welcome to another edition of 101 Facts, Mother Factors. Guess who? That's right, Sam again, and I'm here to talk to you today about the happy mealing secret sauce squirting giant that, for better or worse, has been in and around our mouths for the best part of a century. That's right, it's McDonald's. But how did McDonald's make an enemy out of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Why am I going to start a rap career under the name of MC Fries with Dat? Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Two out of three of those questions are about to get answered, so get ready to have yourself deep fried into a vat of hot bubbling knowledge and served with a signed order of fact fries. This is 101 Facts About McDonald's. Number one. In 1940, brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald opened their first McDonald's restaurant in San Bernardino, California. Gosh, I wonder where they got the name from. Number two. Before they turned their business into a burger bonanza, it was originally a sausage fest, as in 1937 they ran a hot dog stand that they launched with a $5,000 loan. Number three! It wasn't until 1948 that they did the old cuisine switcheroo to burgers, shakes, potato chips, or fries to you non-British folk, and pie. Damn it, fact three and I'm already hungry. Number four! The first franchised eatery was opened in 1955 in De Plains, Illinois by Ray Kroc a human man, not a crocodile like his name suggests, who bought the franchise rights and turned it into the worldwide business we know now. Number five. In the deal they made with the croc, the McDonald brothers only received one half of a percent of gross sales. Wow, they got more f***ed over than an apple pie in the hands of an extremely lonely man. Number six. Ray Kroc was reportedly worth $500 million when he died in 1984. <sighs> Think of the McNuggets you could buy with that. Number seven. McDonald's is a franchise and therefore individuals own most restaurants. Only 15% of the restaurants are owned by McDonald's Corporation directly. Number eight. Between 1948 and 1962, the McDonald's company logo was a cartoon chef with a hamburger for a head who carried a sign that proclaimed, I'm speedy. <laughs> Tell you what, eat too many McDonald's products and you certainly won't be speedy anymore. Number nine. Ronald McDonald was later introduced to Haunt the Dreams of Kids, I mean, represent the brand, and was based on a clown from a TV show called Bozo Circus, played by Willard Scott. Number 10. The sponsor of the TV show owned several McDonald's, so Scott was roped into visiting several McDonald's restaurants in full makeup and in character. Number 11. Willard Scott was fired soon afterwards for being too fat. McDonald's were worried that his little bit of chub would strengthen associations with obesity with the brand. Don't worry, McDonald's. Your own products will do that for you later down the line. Number 1 to uh, 12. In 1965, McDonald's Corporation went public and shares were able to be bought. No, no, wrong share. A block of 100 shares purchased at $2,250 in 1965 was worth over $5.7 million in 2010. 5.7 million items of the dollar menu right there. Number 13. McDonald's is the most valuable fast food brand in the world, worth $92.5 billion. Da -da 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 -da. Number 14. The first McDonald's restaurant you could drive a car through without causing an insane amount of property damage opened in 1975 in Sierra Vista, Arizona. Number 15. The drive through concept, with a U instead of an O-U-G-H, because screw spelling, was created when they noticed soldiers training at a military base were not allowed to leave their cars while wearing their uniform. What are they worried about? The soldiers driving tanks through the front doors just to get their French fry fix? Number 16. The average McDonald's drive through transaction takes roughly 189.49 seconds. Seriously, I just did it 100 times in the past two days to work it out. And now I can't move. Help me. Help. Number 17. In the Lindvallen Resort in Sweden, there's a ski through where skiers can pick up a McDonald's meal mid slalom. Next Winter Olympics, have a look out for Big Macs dangling from the Olympians' gobs. Number 18. Despite being able to ski through a drive through McDonald's will not serve you if you are on horseback, which is unreasonable, I think. What if Jim was the horse is craving McFlurry and is, you know, in a hurry? Hey, that rhymes. Number 19. McDonald's Corporation is the largest owner of retail property in the world. Like a landlord who takes a cookery class and thinks they're really good at it when actually they're really not, the company earns most of its money not through selling food, but by collecting rent. Number 20. There are almost one and a half times more McDonald's locations than hospitals in the US. 14,350 versus 10,660. One of those is ideal to fix your feelings in, and the other one is a hospital. Number 21. 
McDonald's has over 36,000 locations across this planet that we're sat on. More than Burger King, which has 13,000, Wendy's, which has 6,500, and Taco Bell, which has 6,200. Number 22! But Subway slaps McDonald's in the face with a hearty Italian meatball marinara and takes the title for largest fast food chain in the world with over 44,000 locations. Number 23! You can't so much as sniff a McMuffin in Bermuda, Kazakhstan or Macedonia because McDonald's has been banned in all these locations. Number 24! Of the 196 countries in the world, McDonald's has greased its way into 119 of them. Number 25? 29 countries in the world offer McDonald's delivery directly to your door. Luckily, the UK isn't one of them, or else I'm not sure I'd ever leave my house. Number 26. McDonald's wants to open 2,000 more restaurants in China by 2017, which means from 2015 they'd have to open about three restaurants every day. Ronald McDonald must be exhausted over there. Number 27. Somewhere in the Nevada desert marks the location furthest away you could possibly be from a McDonald's in the US which is 115 miles away. Or is it a mirage? Ooh. No, no, really, it's, it's there. Number 28. Could the Big Mac be considered art? Well, McDonald's reckons so, and has opened a restaurant on the underground premises of the French Fine Art Museum, the Louvre. Just uh, don't spill any ketchup on the Mona Lisa. They get really funny about that. Number 29. Although most McDonald's restaurants are comfortingly identical, some have unique features. For example, a restaurant in New Zealand features a DC-3 aircraft that customers can eat inside of. Number 30. Rome houses the most fancy pants McDonald's in the world. It features trickling fountains, statues and mosaic walls. Most of the interior is marble and cobblestone steps lead up to the restaurant. Finally, it's acceptable to take a date to McDonald's and she won't leave you alone outside shaking her head in disappointment while you put the engagement ring back in your pocket. Oh, just, just me? Okay. Number 31. In Hong Kong, you can hold a wedding reception in McDonald's. For $1,200 you get full hire of the restaurant, 50 invitations, McDonald's gifts, a pair of McDonald's balloon wedding rings, an apple pie display and an MC. Number 32. McDonald's sells unique menu items in every country. In Portugal you can order the caldo verde soup, and in Hong Kong you can order the red bean pie for dessert. Number 33. You can even buy beer in a McDonald's in Germany and get drunk in McDonald's rather than going there while you're drunk. Saves a lot of time and a lot of effort, I like how you Germans think. Number 34. In Singapore you can buy a beef fantastic, which contains sliced beef between two white rice patties. Number 35. Despite these specialised menu choices, there is still no veggie option in the US. To be fair, veggies, McDonald's meat probably doesn't contain much meat in it anyway, so you're probably good. Number 36. The UK is the only place in the world to sell a bacon roll at McDonald's. I've never been so proud to be British. Rule Britannia. Number 37. Her Majesty the Queen of England owns the land of one of the McDonald's located near Buckingham Palace. One could say that she's the, uh... Burger Queen? Because Queen is like King and Burger King is... Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Number 38. McDonald's 3000th restaurant was opened in 1974 in Woolwich, South East London, and was the first McEatery in the UK. Number 39. There are more Muck people on the Muck payroll than any other in Great Britain, as McDonald's is the biggest private sector employer in the Muck country. I need to stop adding Muck to everything. It's getting really tiring. In fact, my, my voice is going weird. <coughs> Number 40. Worldwide, McDonald's employs 1.8 million people, which could fill up the entire city of Philadelphia, and then some. Number 41. <coughs> Don't know what happened there, sorry. According to company estimates worked out on their special source stained calculators, one in eight workers in the US has been hired by McDonald's at some point. Some people just didn't even know it. Dun dun dun. No, of course they did. Sorry, I'm just trying to add a little bit of drama. The meaning of life. It takes seven months for the average McDonald's employee to earn what the McDonald's CEO earns in one hour. Luckily, he's paid in hash browns and not actual money, or that statistic would be, you know, horrifying. Number 43. In 1961, McDonald's opened Hamburger University, where students are trained to lay perfectly still between two buns. <laughs> just kidding. It actually teaches restaurant management and stuff, and it now has over 2,750,000 graduates. 
I would totally ace that first bit though. Number 44. Did you know McDonald's holds its own version of Pop Idol? Well, it does. 58,000 employees entered the Voice of McDonald's singing competition in 2014 for a chance to win the $25,000 grand prize. We all know the real Voice of McDonald's is someone crying outside at 3 o'clock in the morning begging to be let in to eat 12 breakfast meals in a row. Oh, damn it, just me again? Number 45. Famous former employees of McDonald's include Rachel McAdams, Jay Leno, and Shania Twain. I can't believe she kissed her fries goodnight. Number 46. One job applicant's brutal honesty got him the job at McDonald's. Under the heading desired position, he answered reclining, haha. <laughs> but seriously, whatever's available. If I was in the position to be picky, I wouldn't be applying here in the first place. Oh no, he didn't. But he got the job in the end, so I guess, yes, he did. Number 47. The revenue McDonald's generates globally is more than what Mongolia as a country generates per year. Number 48. In 2013, Ronald McDonald House Charities raised $450 million from the pennies put in the boxes at the checkouts. Number 49. You know the McDonald's Monopoly game promotion thingy? Well, McDonald's pays the million dollar Monopoly prize winner in installments, specifically $50,000 a year for over 20 years. So if you do win and you don't spend any of it at all, you will be a millionaire in the future, maybe. Number 50. Some cool young folk in the UK call McDonald's Mackie D's. Just thought you'd like to know in case you, you know, come from a faraway land to visit and you want to sound all hip and cool and down with the kids when you get here. Number 51. In one marketing strategy, McDonald's promised to pay rappers $5 every time one of their songs with Big Macs in the lyrics was played on US radio. I've given myself the name MC Fries with dat and recorded an entire album to try and take them up on that offer. Number 52. The Economist created the Big Mac Index in 1986. The index is used as a guide to determine whether currencies are at their correct level or not by looking at the price of a Big Mac across different nations. Number 53. McDonald's has 70 million daily customers. That's more than the population of France. That means about 1% of the world's population go to a McDonald's every day. Number 54. McDonald's serves more than 5 billion burgers a year, requiring an estimated herd of 25 million cows. Wow, with that fact, I'm surprised they haven't renamed themselves McDonald's. Okay, I'm sorry, that one was so bad it didn't even deserve the full sound effect. Number 55. McDonald's sells 75 hamburgers every second. Who to? I'm not sure, but that must be one hungry person. Number 56. In 1968, McDonald's airlifted hamburgers to homesick American Olympians competing in France. Airlifted? How big were those hamburgers? Number 57. In the US alone, people eat over 1 billion pounds of beef at McDonald's a year, which amounts to about 5.5 million herds of cattle. Number 58. It's also the single largest purchaser of beef, pork, potatoes and apples in the US. Good to know if you have any cows, pigs, potato fields or orchard lying around, you now know where to go. Number 59. Speaking of orchards, here's a completely unrelated topic. Children. Apparently, McDonald's loves them, and what better way to show them that than to give them playgrounds. Not like that suspicious bloke down the road that made his garden for you when you were little and your mum told you never ever to go near. Actual playgrounds. McDonald's operates more playgrounds than any other private entity in the United States. Number 60. McDonald's is the largest distributor of toys in the world, distributing 1.4 billion toys thanks to Happy Meals. Number 61. Ronald McDonald actors are on strict orders to tell children that McDonald's burgers and fries are grown whole and picked from a field in the ground if any child asks where they come from. <sighs> As if anyone's going to believe that. Ronald McDonald's a real person, not an actor. <laughs> Silly. Number 62. Approximately 96% of school children in the US can identify Ronald McDonald. The only other fictional character the kids recognise more is Santa Claus. Wait, this research is all wrong. I mean, Santa's real too, right? Right? Number 63. The iconic golden arches are recognised by more people than the Christian cross. Nintendo, I mean number 64. The McDonald's in Sedona, Arizona has the world's only turquoise arches. They were told the restaurant legally had to be in keeping with the surroundings. The arches were chosen to reflect the sky and the building is more orange and red to reflect the surrounding terrain. Number 65. Most people, including muggins here, believe that the gold arches represent fries. This is not the case. 
The golden arches were originally an architectural feature designed to attract customers from the roadside. It took five years for them to be incorporated into the M. Number 66. Those golden slithers of potato-based joy french fries are the best-selling item on the menu. Number 6, T7. McDonald's french fries contain 17 ingredients. These include potatoes, surprise, surprise, canola oil, hydrogenated soybean oil, safflower oil, natural flavour, dextrose, sodium acid, pyrophosphate, citric acid, dimethyl polysiloxine, and salt. I know, I'm as impressed as you are that I managed to say that second from last one. Number 68. The McWrap apparently has 121 ingredients, including chemicals that are on the FDA toxicity watch list. Okay, note to self, don't get McWrap. Don't get McWrap. Number 69. Since 1948, McDonald's has sold over 4 trillion fries. If they were placed end-to-end, -end, for some reason, they would circle the globe 18,476 times. It would also be enough deep-fried goodness to go to the moon and back 306 times, and to Jupiter and back twice. Come on, NASA, you should be funding this. Number 70. One in ten potatoes harvested in the US goes to McDonald's. The other nine are sent to me in the UK to help me create my sculpture of Jennifer Lawrence that I'm making out of mashed potato. Number 71. Of all the sesame seeds grown in Mexico, 75% end up in McDonald's hamburger buns. Number 72. A McDonald's strawberry milkshake contains about 50 chemicals that are used to imitate the flavour of strawberries. I know one thing that can imitate the flavour of strawberries quite well. Strawberries. Year of the Investment! McDonald's celebrated its 75th birthday in 2015. Number 74! The McDonald's Caesar salad is more fattening than its hamburger. So there you go, go on the 101 Facts recommended diet and nom on some nice healthy hamburgers instead of horrible fattening sa- Oh wait, it's just because of the dressing. <sighs> Back to eating rabbit food, I guess. Number 75! The fruit smoothie has more sugar per serving than Coke. Bloody fruit, I've never trusted it. Number 76. The eggs used at McDonald's are really a mixture that includes eggs and egg blend, which includes a solvent found in soap and shaving cream. Yummy, yummy. Number 77. A person would need to walk for seven hours straight to burn off a supersized Coke, fries and Big Mac meal. Why couldn't you just use a lighter in the restaurant? Oh, right, that's, that's not what you meant. Number 78. Coca-Cola at McDonald's is delivered in stainless steel tanks to preserve freshness, whereas for everywhere else it's transported in plastic bags, which might be the reason it tastes a little bit different. Call me old-fashioned, but I drink it out of a cup? Number 79. In the UK, McDonald's sold more coffees than hipster and deluded novel writer's favourite Starbucks, selling 126 million cups filled with coffee. Number 80. The McRibs contains no ribs. It's a patty made from pork shoulder meat. Oh, it's just the McRib. Sorry, I was getting it confused with McDonald's condom line. Number 81. There are some secret menu items that aren't advertised. These include a pie McFlurry, which is an apple pie blended into a McFlurry, and a McChicken sandwich inside a McDouble, which is called, I kid you not, the McGangbang. Last time I ordered that, I got arrested, but I think I forgot the Muck bit. Number 82. A secretary working in McDonald's headquarters in 1967 came up with the name Big Mac after the head of product development passed her desk on his way to a board meeting to discuss ideas for the name of a new burger. Number 83. The fillet of fish burger was introduced to temporary competition against the Hula Burger, which was literally just a slice of pineapple in an uncooked bun. Pfft, I could come up with a better burger in my sleep. The fillet of fish somehow became more popular and ended up being a permanent menu fixture. Number 84. In 1989, McDonald's even tried to create their own version of one of the greatest foods that have ever graced the earth and our collective lips. Pizza! It was cut from the menu because the pizzas took 10 minutes to cook, which was deemed too long for a fast food joint. Number 85! In 2013, celebrity chefs were given the task of creating a gourmet meal out of McDonald's ingredients. Finished products included Kung Pao chicken, made from chicken McNuggets and sweet and sour sauce, and a tortilla espanola made from hash browns and eggs. Number 86. Only 1% of the chicken used in McDonald's in Great Britain is produced in Great Britain. 60% of the cluckers are imported from Brazil. Number 87. Chicken McNuggets, which let's face it are the best item on that bloody menu, weren't introduced until 1980. They were so popular that demand exceeded their chicken supply. Number 88. 
The 40-piece Chicken McNugget share box is the highest calorie item on the regular menu, totaling 1,800 calories and eats about 75% of your feelings away? Number 89. The Chicken Nugget Challenge has become a popular challenge on YouTube, where you must eat 60 McNuggets in as many minutes. If someone buys me the nuggets, I'll eat 101 in that time, no problem! Terms and conditions apply, such as a condition that I can back out whenever I want. I don't really want to do this, I don't know why I said it, I'm sorry. Number 90! In 2012, a woman from Nebraska sold a chicken nugget on eBay that resembled George Washington. The nugget went for $8,100. This one looks slightly like me, I guess. How much do you want it for? Huh? Guys? Guys? Number 91. During the 2008 Olympic Games, real-life Sonic the Hedgehog Usain Bolt claims he ate over 1,000 McNuggets. He won three gold medals and set three world records. That right there, for all of us to behold, is the power of chicken nuggets. Number 92. The amount of ketchup that McDonald's uses in a year would fill 50 Olympic-sized swimming pools, which would be a waste of time and ketchup and swimming pools. Let's just not do it, okay? Number 93. Shanika Torres from Michigan is serving a 3-7 to seven year prison sentence for firing a bullet through the McDonald's drive through window after she didn't receive bacon on her burger. The sacrifices we make for bacon, eh? Number 94. A man called Mike Fountaine holds the record for owning the most McDonald's-related memorabilia. He owns buttons, uniforms, cups and toys which total to 75,000 items. I'm amazed he hasn't changed his name to Mike Donalds. That's not even a joke, I'm actually genuinely stunned he hasn't done that yet. Number 95 Donald A. Gorsk holds the record for the most Big Macs consumed, eating his 26,000th in 2012. Number 96 Retired Vampire Slayer Sarah Michelle Gellar was sued by McDonald's when she was just four years old. She appeared in a Burger King commercial that not only mentioned McDonald's, but also claimed they used 20% less meat in their burgers. If vampires overrun McDonald's, I bet they'll be sorry. Number 97 in 1994, a 79-year-old woman was awarded $2.86 million after she accidentally spilled McDonald's coffee on herself and claimed it was too hot. It's so silly, wasn't it? Ow, I just poked myself in the eye with a straw. Please help me, give me $5 million because it was too sharp. Ow, my eye, ow, please, money, 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 please, money. Number 98. In 2005, a man robbed a Wendy's. But what was his name, I hear you ask? Ronald McDonald. Not that one, another Ronald McDonald. They better watch out or the hamburger might make his way into Wendy's too. Number 99! In heartwarming news, in Cumbria in the UK, the staff of a local McDonald's threw a party for a 93-year-old widower who visits every day to cope with the loss of his wife. Number 100! On an employee website designed to offer workers life tips, McDonald's suggests that they avoid eating fast food. Number 101! McDonald's makes $75 million every day. Every day! You could definitely afford that ketchup pool with that kind of money. That right there was 101 facts about McDonald's, and I don't know about you, but I had a lovely time. If you want more facts served to you in under five minutes with a soft drink and toy of your choice, then click on subscribe quick smart right blinking now. Come on, do it. Do it. Ah, oh, all of this McDonald's speak has taken me back to when I had my first Happy Meal. I remember the toy, it was a little pixie thing. I didn't realise the toy wasn't food and ate it. <laughs> Ah, oh, silly me. Rushed to hospital, had an operation to get it out, no anaesthetic, so I had to be awake for the whole thing. Worst birthday ever. Wasn't loving it. Wasn't loving it at all. Hmm. Maybe I could sue them. Yeah. I'm gonna go give my lawyer a call. Toodles!